Every year around this time, I think Black History Month is a moment for me to reflect on our history, particularly growing up in the South. We had KKK visit our town when I was a kid and pass out leaflets. I remember that stuff. So Black History Month for me isn't just this, oh, let's celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Let's be proud of our contributions to society. No, it's real talk. I'm Tiffany Price. I am from Elberton, Georgia, and I'm the Community Engagement Manager at the k Center. I grew up in a town where it was mostly black and white. That's the extent of the diversity that we had. My biggest outlet was school. Another huge part of that was that my mom was a school teacher. And so I always knew I needed to go to college. I always knew that if my parents had anything to do with it, I would be going to college. Even though I came from a super small town, I had the unique opportunity to learn Japanese as a high school student. I leapfrogged to have my first flight ever be from Georgia to Japan, and it goes further from there. Growing up, church was a big part of my reality. I sing all the time because I feel like music is a way to get people to communicate together and to bond. I have been able to go on mission trips to different countries to try to have an impact in Africa or in Jamaica through using my talent to inspire people, to make people smile, to build community. I try to do that as much as I can. When I graduated from Emory, I got a Fulbright Fellowship to go to Japan. It ended up connecting me to education and the study of curricula. And that's when I found an opportunity to learn at Stanford. So I entered their International Comparative Education Program as a master's student, and that's what got me to the Bay Area, and that's why I'm still here. Before coming to the k Center, I didn't really think about tech diversity and inclusion. From day one, I thought this, this could be a really cool place to work, but I never thought that 10 years later, I would still be here and not doing the same things that I was doing when I started. I myself had the opportunity to go to a coding boot camp, and that added a layer to my understanding of what it's like to be a person of color entering into a career without a, a technical background. Because of that, I collaborated with a group of women who wanted to create a space for women of color in tech who are doing great things to talk. And from that spurred the birth of a conference called Tech Intersections. It blows my mind to be able to work every day um, making sure that exemplars in the tech field who are black and brown are in front of these young people day in and day out because we truly envision ourselves being what we can see. It's kind of interesting how life works out that way. You don't know where you're going to end up, but I'm proud of the fact that I'm an African-American woman. I'm proud that I came from the South. I'm proud of the legacy that my family has. I'm proud of all the efforts that black and brown people who were committed to civil rights made and the fight continues. <laughs>